Where did the year go? 2024 is fast approaching. All those experiences might slip away unless you find a method of taking stock and celebrating the past 365 days. In this video, I want to offer you a two hour ritual for New Year's Eve, a writing exercise that serves as the final bow as the curtain goes down on this year and as you look forward to the next. I'll show you how I like to do it, but ultimately it's your year, so up to you. The first step is to make it personal. Let's avoid a mere summary of events and write this piece as a friend to a friend. I started this ritual in 2015 and when I look at it now it's like I'm having conversation with myself across time. In the intro I address the piece to myself, say what time I'm starting the writing and where I am in the world. Bring future you right into that moment. Step two, collect your material. The really major events will come naturally to mind, but there are awesome things hidden just beneath the surface. The way to find these is to go through your calendar and your photos for the year. Create a rough list of these events, then go through a second time to bring out the key experiences. You may also have a practice of writing down important moments or lessons learned every month or every week, so that can be a great source of ideas as well. And I do both good and bad. You want to be honest and capture both sides. Now it's time for step three, finding the perfect structure. Ultimately, it is this structure that will enable you to extract meaning both now and when reading this back in future years. There are a few options. The easiest and quickest is chronological. This way you will see how the year progresses and your list of experiences should already be in this form. A second option is thematic. Tony Robbins talks about organizing your life into different categories, so relationships, passion projects, physical health. You can jot down what you're aiming for in the year and why and what you managed to achieve. This is a great way of seeing everything in your life that wasn't there at this time last year and it will help you to draw out an overarching message from all these different categories. My personal approach is chronological with a bit of dessert at the end. So dessert in this case is writing the perfect day. I take all the biggest experiences from the year and craft a narrative where they take place in just 24 hours, building momentum as I run up to whatever my plans are for midnight on New Year's Eve. Even with a summary of the year, it is still a big expanse of time. It's hard to get your head around. Writing the perfect day will hit you in the guts and get you excited for the new year. Over time, it becomes an extraordinary record of everything you've experienced and who you are. You will see your life on a page. Happy New Year.